What's up guys, my name is Michael Lynn and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another lead code grind challenge. This is flipping an image. And this is actually really easy. When you when you read it, it's kind of really easy. But if you read the, the input and output and exclamation, it sounds really difficult, but it's actually really easy. Given in our binary matrix A, we want to flip the matrix horizontally, then invert it and return the resulting image. So to flip an image horizontally, it means that the row of the image is reversed. So flipping 110 results in 011. Okay, so basically this is what they're saying is that this, like whatever's last becomes first and the middle becomes a second and blah, blah, blah. That's what they're saying. So they're, so they're basically flipping everything from like 110 becomes 011. And yeah, whatever's the beginning becomes last, last becomes end. Yeah, so that's basically what it is. To invert an image means that each zero is replaced by one and each one is replaced by zero. So for example, inverting zero one one results in one zero zero. So this is basically the whole al algorithm. You, you want to flip the image horizontally and then invert it by replacing all the zeros with ones and ones with the zeros and then return it. So I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to do this and then I'll explain the solution. Okay. So, yeah do this okay so i hope you guys tried attempt to do this at least normally i give myself at least one hour or two hours to do it if i can't figure it out i'll look up the solution all right so we're giving the matrix a and we want to flip it horizontally then invert it and then return it okay so i'm gonna return i'll create a matrix called vec uh called to return this is basically the matrix i'm gonna return okay so basically i want to flip uh, I want to flip each row of the image is reversed and then I need to replace every zero with one and one with zero okay so to do that I have to go through every row in the matrix so I'm gonna do int row equals zero row is less than a dot size row plus plus this is gonna give me each row in the matrix so what am I gonna do I'm gonna do int uh, current row is going to equal to a at row okay so this is going to be the current row what am i going to do i'm going to go through each um actually let me see do 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 to flip an image horizontally means each row of the image is reversed and then okay okay so this is easy um yeah all i have to do is reverse each each uh Reverse each image, each row, and then I have to replace each zero, every zero by one, and one by zero. So in order to do that, uh, there's a function called reverse actually in C++. Reverse an array, C++, and uh, da, 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 da. there's a way to do it. STL, STL, yeah. Reverse start index, last index. So yeah, you just reverse the array. You just call reverse on current row, pass and begin. That's the that's the um, iterator from the beginning, current and uh, the begin, and that's the iterator of the end. And this ideally should reverse whatever row we're at, so that the first is last, last is first, yada yada yada. Then I'm gonna go through my current row. my each row uh, my every value in the row and basically I'm gonna check if it's a zero then I change it to a one if it's equal to zero I make it to a one and else if if it's a one, I make it into zero. Yeah. After I, after I do that, invert an image, I'm going to add it to my matrix that I'm returning. So to return dot uh, push back, I think you could do this. Yeah. Push back 
current row and then that should be it that's basically this whole algorithm I'm gonna see if I could optimize this afterwards see if I don't have to create a new array and return it might be able to just do this by not having to just, just uh, pass uh, instead of creating a new array you could just change a but anyway let's just see if this works yep it works okay let's submit it and it got accepted yeah that's basically it uh, let's see if we could m not use to return and see what happens let's see if instead of creating a new array new matrix let's see if we could just change a so let's say a current row points to a at row let's reverse a at row uh, go through every current row let's what if I do, 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 do what if I just return a let's see if I could just return a let's see if this works I'm not sure it might it might not I'm not sure actually mainly because this changes it to a reference and if it's a reference No, it doesn't. Okay, so yeah. Um, let me see. What if I don't do this? Okay. My computer's lagging really badly. This is a good. This is a good thought exercise. What if I just do this? Yeah, and then I do a at row at i. Ooh, okay. This is gonna be really, 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 really um messy code. But this is really messy code. But let's see if it works. Okay. Basically, I'm just not going to use current row, and I'm basically just going to try to change my original my original array instead of returning a new one. If it doesn't work, then we'll just go back to our previous solution. But yeah. Whoops. Man, it is lagging really badly right now. Oh, I think it works. Okay. Yeah, it works. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that to work. But okay, yeah. Um, basically, what I did was now, instead of creating a new array and returning it, I just, in adding whatever I changed, I just reversed my, I reversed whatever row I was, I was on, right? Orig I just changed the original array. So I reversed whatever row I was on. Then I went through every single row, every value in each row. This is what this, this for loop is doing. And then I change if it's a zero, like whatever value at each row, then I make it one. If it's one, I make a zero. And then I return the array. But yeah, that got accepted. That was pretty basic. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's really short, but yeah, that, that's how you do flipping an image. Let me know what, what solution you guys have you might have one where it's faster than a hundred of the c plus plus submissions but i don't know i don't know how else you would do this without what i just did and i think you create your own reverse method and see if that is faster than the re this reverse method but i don't know if that's worth it or not but yeah rate comment subscribe and check you guys later all right guys so originally i was going to end the video on that but there's an even better solution than what I just optimized. So, first of all, uh, we don't really need this because, uh, well, w since we already know in the problem, if it's zero, then we change a one. If it's one, we make it a zero. 
so we don't need that check so that prevents a little more a little more efficient I guess but it's not that much but there's an even better solution there's a way to do this where you would only go to the halfway point and then you would copy whatever value from your what you're currently at to this halfway point so this is that this is the solution that they gave us and I'm going to basically implement it in C++ with you guys so what are we going to do first well this is going to get the length of the number of columns in the uh, the array which in the matrix which is uh, I could do that I guess but that really is not necessary that's the same thing as a at row dot size but why not okay number of columns okay uh, this is a at zero dot size okay so they're assuming that whatever whatever um, whatever number of columns that would just get rid of this okay but that doesn't that doesn't matter um what are we gonna do so we get the number of rows and then we're going to go through every row in the array in the matrix which is basically what he does um, and then we're gonna instead of going to instead of reversing it and then flipping the zeros to ones and ones into zeros we're not gonna do this what we're gonna do is we're going to go to the halfway point so we're gonna go from for every column columns less than number of columns we are going to plus one and divide it by two and what does this do this is basically going to this is this means that we're gonna go to the halfway point halfway of whatever I'm at and we are going to swap the values from this is basically reversing the, the array but because we're only going to the halfway point uh, it's much more efficient than reversing the, or the array and then then changing the zeros to ones and ones to zeros okay so this is essentially reversing the array because if you were to think of this mathematically um, I don't know who who thought of the solution but this is actually a really genius idea basically if I were to have like a list of numbers one two three four if I start here and I go to the this is my index let's say a zero this is my I right and I go one I go up to halfway point so the size is four so I only go up to here right I only go up to here if I go up to halfway point and I just subtract the and I just copy this value to here and copy this value to here that's basically reversing the, the array do you guys see see what I'm saying and how you would do that is you would you would get your whatever index you're currently at and you're going to set it equal to the length for you go up to the halfway point right you then you set your you the length whatever your current index at you swap it with the value at length which is uh, in this case 4 minus the current index minus 1 right so if this is at 0 the end would be 4 uh, I want to swap so if I start at 0 here the length would be 4 4 minus 0 is 4 and I minus 1 which is 3 and that would be the index of whatever I'm currently looking on at so th let's say so these are the indexes 0 1 2 3 this would basically swap whatever length I'm currently at whatever value I'm cur currently at it's gonna swap with whatever it is so uh, if I go to the halfway point so then now if I'm at 2 I could just swap 2 with uh, uh, with now I'm at index 1 I could swap index 1 with index 2 because index 1 is 4 minus 1 is 3, right? And then 3 minus 1 is 2. So that, that would swap this with 2. So 3, and this would become 2. So yeah, if you were to go to the halfway point and you swap the end last two values, that would get you the same answer as you have instead of reversing it. Okay? So that would be much faster than the reverse method. But So we're going to go through the halfway point, and we're going to swap the two values. So temp is going to equal to whatever value I'm currently at so a at row at column 
And what am I going to do? I'm going to XOR it by one. And if you remember what XOR does, it's a bitwise operation that essentially changes the bits, uh, flip the bits from one to zero and zero to one. So basically I'm gonna change, if, if this is a zero, I will change it to one. If it's one, I'll change it to zero. That's what this would do. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap Uh, yeah, I'm going to swap with um, A at row. It would be the number of columns minus one minus column. XOR this one. So then that would get my, if it's zero, it becomes one, one becomes zero. And then I'll set my A at row at number of columns minus one minus column is going to equal to 10. And how this is going to work, how this works is like I told you, you go to the middle and then whatever in the beginning, it's going to be, uh, become swap with the end. And then you keep, you go to, you keep going, whatever index you're currently on, you're going to swap it with whatever value at the end minus whatever can, uh, index you're on. And that would basically get you your answer. Uh, let's see if it works. All right, well, what's the issue? Num called. It was declared, though. Oh. If you have any questions, please uh, leave a message. Not a message. Leave a comment down below, and then I could explain how, how this code still works. But... I hope you guys understand. And wow, yeah, use less than 100% of the C++ online submission. Oh, it's still only faster than 71%. Hmm. I wonder how I could make it even more fast. Another thing, you could not have a variable, I guess, but eh, whatever. Yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.